So last Thursday morning around 9 a.m., these cowards decide to show up to my business knowing I was not there. Uh, that first person that entered the building was the sheriff. There's another cop there. Behind them is the USDA inspectors. Those two guys in front of the car are the inspectors. Sheriff car pulls up to the business. And they had a search warrant and everything, sending half of the NYPD to shut down a healthy food business. And the ants come crawling in, swarming together. There's three more cops there after two entered the building. You got three USDA inspectors. There's two other inspectors from Department of Agriculture. Looks like there's another guy there. I think that was one of the USDA personnel. They said he was training. I don't know if that's the truth or not, if that's their lawyer. And this is the other view of the same thing we just watched. This is the sheriff walking in first to the building. I'm assuming that's the search warrant in his hand. We got one cop. That lady with the backpack on is the Department of Agriculture inspector. The two guys behind her are the USDA inspectors. That guy in the white t-shirt's my neighbor, so he's not a cop. That's my other neighbor walking across, probably trying to figure out what the hell's going on as the sheriff car pulls up. So four inspectors, two cops in the building. Then there's three more cops on the left there entering the building. So we have five police officers and five inspectors two from Department of Agriculture, three from USDA. And guys, this is not this is not normal. Usually if there is a food safety report or a health issue, they'll send one or two inspectors over and see what's going on. Uh, this is crazy. So on top of the 10 people that entered my building, <laughs> there's two more cops coming in. So New York City sends a dozen government agents to, to harass my business. And then after they enter the building, uh, these are my guys working. There's uh, some meat delivery just came in. On the right there, those two pallets. Uh, looks like uh, a lot of stuff. So Thursday morning, my guys aren't uh, sending out too many orders. Uh, I guess they had a few that were delayed that they are sending out. Just uh, local New York, which are in the pallet that's above the meat delivery. So my guy walked over to answer the door. And uh, Sheriff NYPD comes in. More police officers walking in. So they're probably telling him something, but my guys don't speak English. So I'm assuming the officers were speaking Spanish and he was able to understand what they were telling him. That's the lady is the, from Department of Agriculture inspector. Pay attention to those cops that are walking into the back of my building because those are probably the guys that turn off the cameras. So these guys are basically telling them, hey, we have a search warrant. Uh, we're going to go through everything and see what's going on. Uh, they, they never told me who filed the complaint, what the justification for the search warrant was in the first place. And my lawyer doesn't seem to be helping too much. I find it very unusual, the set of circumstances that happened here in addition to uh, what's going to happen after the cameras were turned off. So, lady still talking to my guys. USDA inspectors are next to her. Looks like the guy's taking pictures on his phone of everything going on. And I'm assuming the Department of Agriculture took pictures of stuff too, which they're probably going to send to my landlord to try to get me evicted, which I don't, I think that's some, that's some shady inside stuff where government agencies are sending pictures to my landlord for court cases, but that's probably what they're doing. Uh, so now the USDA inspector, which is a federal agent, is opening up uh, my meat shipments to see what's inside, which is all USDA inspected meat because that's all I purchase. And then this is uh, that cop that walked out of frame. Uh, there's actually going to be three cops that walk back here. So there's uh, 
two ways to get downstairs to my office. One is through the back, which these guys are going, and another is uh, through the front. So he's looking around, seeing what's going on. Third cop walks into frame. And then after these guys go downstairs, uh, all the camera footage shuts off until I get back on uh, the next morning, Friday morning. Uh, so these cops turned off the cameras when they went downstairs. So what exactly happened on the one day I've left the state in like five, ten years? I don't know. The point is, th th too many coincidences. My landlord has been trying to evict me. He's billionaire, connected beyond belief. He called the Department of Agriculture on me a few months ago. I didn't let them in. That is the New York State government body that regulates food processors. He called the fire department, FDNY. They barged their way in, didn't find any violations. And the reason someone is calling those places on me, they're attempting to prove I'm cooking in my facility, which is a violation of my lease, make it easier to evict me. A judge granted a search warrant to the Department of Agriculture, who then entered my premises with the USDA. The USDA being a federal agency regulating meat, even though they weren't on the search warrant, they came in with the Department of Agriculture. The one day I leave New York to visit a potential property to actually relocate to, these cowards showed up. They didn't want to be movie stars, I guess. Right on time for the delivery from the Amish farm shipped by New Holland Transport. My workers actually tried to decline the delivery, but the truck driver forced them to take it and release the product to us. So technically myself as a business owner never even received or saw that product from the truck. The meat from the Amish farm was what they seized and then some other stuff in my freezer as well. So all of those products seized by the USDA were never actually sold on my website. Never. But they're claiming the products are commingled with the rest of my meat so they think it's for sale. The Department of Agriculture seized my caviar and the rendered fat products. So the salmon roast, sturgeon caviar, beef tallow, pork lard, lamb tallow, as well as the collagen broth and chicken stock. So hopefully uh, within the next week or two we can get these products unseized. And whether they want to release them back to me or de destroy them, it doesn't matter. I, you know, I take financial hits every single week and I will still keep going. The issue is this harassment will not stop. I have been trying to buy some time to find a new place and relocate exactly why I visited that meat processing facility last week but uh, it looks like I'm just gonna have to label everything as pet food not for sale or whatever just to get these government cocksuckers out of my building that, that's really what I'm gonna have to do um, maybe that'll get them off my back so uh, we're gonna talk to them this week see what happens get the product back and hopefully we can uh, relocate as soon as possible um, you, you know what really killed me was uh, I, I didn't realize you know, my liver was really not healthy enough to take that flight out to Pittsburgh to see that uh, slaughterhouse. Um, I, can't, I can't do it, guys. I, I don't, I'm not physically healthy enough to, to relocate out of New York. The traveling in a car or on a plane, I just can't do it. So maybe we can find a, a place nearby. I'll, I'll talk about that in, in the next video I make. I got a few hours of sun today. I'm feeling a lot better. I'm less stressed. But, but it was really that combination of this happening and me being very physically sick from the traveling. So I'm getting, getting a little better over these past few days. Although I did lose about 10 pounds from all the stress, I, ha I haven't been able to eat. Like in the three days, I had two loaves of bread and a few apples. Couldn't stomach any meat, couldn't stomach anything. But uh, no more dad bod tufano, I guess, or, or do I still have to lose a few more pounds? Anyway, uh, I'm, I'm going to give you guys an update on uh, what's going to happen with the... Uh, meat business moving forward uh, probably tomorrow and then we'll do a vlog on uh, Tuesday just to show you guys uh, more of what's going on in the facility and you know now these people can enter whenever they want now because they have probable cause and I think my lawyer is uh, I think my lawyer doesn't know that I'm 5% Jewish so maybe someone should tell him that